Uh, so welcome back guys uh, to open form so today uh, we'll continue our discussion so in the last video we are talking about the set function and how we uh, just copied the single graph dictionary right over into our snap turbulent pipe piezo form snappy pipe uh, file so again this is where the single graph is and um, we want to uh, you know um, do something about uh, editing right so again um, there are a few things we want to do um, firstly we want to edit our start and end points right of course we can do the, the you know usual inserting thing in here but you know I, I just want to play with the set function because it's it's uh, something neat to want to experiment with and show you so where should our starting point be Okay, so we look we look at our pa uh, para view. We know that we want to start from x equals zero. Then you go to minus zero point five. That's the y coordinate, and the z axis is twenty. So y goes from minus zero point five to zero point five, and that will be constant route. So of course the field we want is velocity field. We don't want uh, um, any kind of uh, yeah, we don't want any other field, we don't want to plot k, we don't want anything of that. Uh, so that will give us the x, y, and z velocity. Of course, if we want magnitude, we can, we'll need to do a post-processing post file. Uh, yeah. yeah, but that can be explained in another video. Um, right now, we'll just plot out the components first, because it's easier. Okay, so uh, let's do the set function to you know uh, do a fancy way of editing through the through the uh, what do you call that Linux so all right so uh, what what is this uh, telling us okay so first thing set so set if you type in set this is what shows up uh, it tells you what the usage is like set options and then blah 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 uh, script only if no other script and then you put an input file so probably this uh, this syntax is as follows set and then you have a dash i here what is this dash i so let's look for set set guide a stream editor and we look at the dash i all right so uh, i'm going to copy this down again this is a set menu set writes the output to standard output use minus i to, to edit files in place instead of printing out standard output so this kind of uh, suppresses the output um, yeah we can do we can do both i'll do one with the i one without the i just to show uh, what actually happens so first thing first we want to change this folder we want to change the uh, we'll, we'll try without the i first, all right? So, said, put an s down there. I think that's a script or something. So, first thing first, we have the 0, 0 0.5, and 0 0.25. This will tell set to look for this specific script, and this is where the start point is. And then I want to replace with my own. So, first thing first, I'll put this, uh, put this uh, uh, coordinate. Uh, of course, you need to put it in this uh, double apostrophe kind of thing. Uh, open inverted commas, whatever you call them. So I put with 0, 0.0 first because that's the x coordinate. And what's the y coordinate? I'm on 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5. Z coordinate 20.0. Now close. And what does the set say? In this file, it says uh, forward slash and a G. Forward slash and G, what does it mean? It means that. Uh, if you look again, you look at uh, forward slash and g, it will tell you uh, the g flag is used. The case conversion does not propagate from one red occurrence to another. So basically, uh, it's a global edit. All right, now let's take a look. Yeah, g flag is used. Uh, 
Okay, basically, uh, I think this is better. Okay, I'm going to just put this in the link. G. Yeah, so this is the global, global, right? It's a global, uh, global replacement. So, so it says most Unix files read one line at a time. Set works the same way. If you tell it to change a word, you'll only change the first occurrence of the word in a line. So if you want to make it change everything across the whole, the whole file, you have to type in this G. So this will change every, every instance of, let's see, where's the length up? It will change every instance of wherever you find this text string and it will replace with this text string. Okay. So the next input is you'll need to tell where the single graph is. All right. So where, which folder are we in? We are in the system folder. You can just type a dot and put single graph and that will uh, tell set to replace. Okay. So, um, what this does is that uh, there will be an output file and it says this is what the new output file will look like. All right, this is very interesting. So uh, it will say that the start is this one, zero, and then minus 0 0.5 and then 20. That's perfect, right? And the end is looking like this, zero, and then uh, two, and then 0 0.25. All right, the field is sigma. So uh, again, I want to replace something else. I'm going to replace this bit, right, with uh, something else. Oops. Said, and let's put an I this time and see what the thing is like. So I'm going to put this down. Uh, well, I mean, I'm, I'm going to ignore the spaces. And I want to put in, uh, what's our next coordinate? 0 0.0, 0 0.5, 20.0. Close it. I'm going to put a G in front, so and then I'll tell set where to find the file. It's a zero. I mean, not, not zero. The current folder, and you put single graph, and that will suppress the output. And let's take a look at, oops, let's take a look at the single graph. Single graph, and then look, it's uh, replaced it nicely. Okay. Did it replace it nicely? Oh. PI single graph. Hmm, it's, it's not seeming to edit the thing nicely. Let's hold on. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, so first thing first, I want to bring us to a disattention. To a, uh, not this attention bring our attention to this so it looks like it is case sensitive you'll need to copy and paste uh, this following here maybe we need to uh, give it the exact number of spaces so this is what the output will be all right however again if we look at the single graph file nothing is being changed so let's put the eye inside and see what happens the eye modifier all right, so you put the I modifier right here, dash I, and let's look at single graph. So now, if we put the I modifier in there, it will change. Okay, so if we didn't put the I modifier inside, it will not write the changes in. It will just say, oh, okay, we will give you a preview of what the file looks like. Okay, so let's take a look at, uh, so remember, put your eyes in, it's very important. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at the previous commands where we had, uh, okay, whatever. I'm going to write it from scratch. So said i s forward slash, we want this file here. I'll copy and paste forward slash 0, 0, 0.0. And then we'll have a, what do we have next? We want to have a minus 0 0.5 and then 20.0. Then forward slash g, forward slash, dot forward slash, and single graph. And then finish, and let's take a look at single graph. Ta-da! It's done. The start and end files have been edited, so let's use set again, set dash i again, 
s forward slash sigma I want to replace sigma now with u forward slash g and forward slash single graph let's take a look at the uh, single graph file so the fields u are going to be plotted out against distance so let's run the post-processing function to see what happens so um, excuse me post process function uh, what single graph all right so it's gonna take a while okay so it's gonna do one for every time steps so do bear in mind of course the the u files are very big that's why it's taking so long so it's going to do all the time steps and then um yeah it's done let's look at the post processing single graph and let's look at the thousand time steps and vi line u not xy all right so it starts from distance zero it will go all the way up so these are the velo this is the velocity profile so this is uh, x y and z velocity so you can see that x velocity is here y velocity is here z velocity is here now what do we want to do if we want to copy this over to uh, excel so we do the same trick here Okay, I'm going to open up my GitHub open form workspace. I'm going to ten five pipe flow snappy hex mesh, go to post processing, single graph, and then copy the thousand file over. Now paste it here. This one is the old one. I can just delete it from the last video. And let's take a look. Like you. I'm going to put all, copy. Control A to put all, select all, and I'm going to look for Excel. Excel, I'm going to paste it down, and I'm going to insert A. Yep, I'm going to insert a scatter plot. And you can see which one is the x, y, and z velocity, right? One. Can you see the, the x, y, and z velocity here? So this, this is the z velocity, and it's giving us the correct correct uh, expected uh, flow profile okay so of course you want to find out if we do a magnitude so you just need to do a square root of uh, this squared sum of this squared this squared and this squared so this is the magnitude of course you can use a different post processing function but this will do just as well this will give us the velocity magnitude so i just shift this over it will give us more or less the same thing because x uh, x and y components of velocity are pretty much negligible so this is how we uh, plot a graph out in excel using this post processing function okay now of course we can overlay the graphs but I think that's enough for this video. I'll just uh, do a git, simple git add and upload to GitHub. Git add and upload to GitHub uh, to save these changes. Uh, git commit mesh m. I want to say, okay, post processing of turbulent piezo foam uh, single graph. Okay, so you see this, these few things are being taken out and there are some insertions there. So we're going to push it up to git, git push. I'm going to type my username and password as usual. So yeah, hopefully this video was very helpful uh, in telling us uh, how to uh, how to uh, get these graph plots out uh, into Excel using the single graph uh, function.
And of course, we have have a you know little treat into uh, this uh, set function. And uh, uh, got a bit of introduction to that because it's a very useful uh, way of editing files using the uh, open form. Uh, no, uh, Linux uh, interface. All right, so I'm gonna copy and paste all this in. Um, again, if you found this helpful, please hit the like, subscribe. A nice comments will be good too. I appreciate you all watching um, of this video. Um, I'll see you guys next time. We'll discuss more things. Thank you very much. Bye bye.